today we will be taking another quick look at the Eco Revivaled Eternal Terrarium. And that is because I noticed something quite peculiar. I will give you a few seconds to guess what it is, judging by this footage. Or you know, the title of the video. Well here it is, this terrarium over the past few days got completely overrun by these tiny tiny black or blackish little animals. You might think, oh well, it isn't that bad, but oh boy, let me show you. This is some raw footage of the entire top of the jar. I'll just show the footage and you can judge for yourself. This seems to be a particularly active spot. I'm also experimenting a bit more with macro lens lighting. This seems to work really well. The only thing is that it's producing these annoying lines across the screen. There's probably a few things you've noticed by now. One, now that's a lot. Two, some are black, some are colored. Three, there's really a lot of them, oh my. 4. They look like some small insect. And if you notice anything else, do let me know. So what are they? Well, a quick leg count reveals that they have 6 legs. So that rules out spiders and mites. Which leaves us with insects and springtails. Now, I can say with quite some confidence and from experience that these are in fact springtails. Springtails from the globular kind, more precisely. So I did some digging. Oh my, I did some digging. If you noticed that there were two different species, you were correct, I think. We can differentiate between the black ones and the colored ones. The black ones are quite hard to identify. They could be in the Borletiella family, or the Dicertoma family, or the Smintherinus family. These are all native Dutch species, so that's a good sign. If I were to pin it down to one single species, well, I couldn't. But if I were to pin it down to two species, I would say it's either a Smintherinus niger or Smintherinus domesticus. The thing with springtails is, you can never be too sure, because there's thousands and thousands of different species, all very much alike. Now the colored species were much easier to identify. They are closely related, but this, this is a huge clue. It has a big white spot on its abdomen, a lighter head and legs. This can only be a Smintherinus trinotatus, well that, or Smintherinus binaculatus. Both of which are actually quite rare, which I think is really cool. You can google some pictures, I don't want to get copyright striked. So why are these springtails suddenly on the rise? Well, my best guess is that it's because the Celaria media or duckweed is slowly starting to rot. That causes a huge amount of food to be there for grabs for the springtails. And in this jar, they don't have any natural enemies, so they can reproduce really quickly. Once they run out of food, a lot of them will die, probably. That's one of the things I love most about closed ecosystems. You can see the relation between food, prey and predator. And because it's closed, some of the balances may get wonky. This is a larva of something. It can't be that of a springtail, because springtails have nymphs, so it must be something else. Here is the main suspect. It appears as though they are maggots of this fly. A fly that decided to stop moving just as I was filming it. Oh well. 
These maggots and flies seem to be growing in numbers rapidly as well, so we'll have to keep an eye on that. Is this? Is it this? Can this be? Is it orange goo? Oh yes, this is definitely orange goo. How curious. There's one last thing I want to say. As you've probably seen, the Stellaria media or duckweed aren't doing well. The spider plants, however, are doing well. That's nice to see. So that was a quick little update on the eco revival closed eternal terrarium. I hope you liked it and if you want to see more updates and other projects well you're going to have to subscribe. Thanks for watching.